A very good day to everyone. I am Dang Weiling, a project manager of the ETB Construction. Today we are going to introduce a construction project that we want to build today. Name the Bambinaan Fossil Gudua Pusat Ladehan Islam Lawas as the Salawa. There are some replacement we need to fulfill to get this project, which is the project that does must have a booming material A1, and the grade of the CIDB must have a minimum grade 7, and the category is in the category B, and they have uh, two important constructional requirements we need to fulfill. That is, we need to achieve the environmental protection work EPW and the Malaysian carbon reductions and the environmental sustainability. Now, I will continue with the type of development. The type of this construction project is Federal Construction Project. It is implemented by JKR Malaysia. So, in this construction, we will build around 10 buildings which include academic block, surau block, female and male dormitory block, dining hall, 4-in-1 sport court, class D, E, F, quarters and also ancillary. So, in this project, we will build by institute method and the overall period of this construction project is 785 days. For the type of the project management construction adopted in the project, this project is conducted by using the traditional construction methods. And there are the three steps to this method, which are the design, build and build. For the design part, um, the JKI will hire a design company to complete the drawing first. After complete the drawings, the relevant company that is including our company are invited to the summit the bid to perform the work specified in the tender documents based on the specifications and the drawing properly. And if our company will award this project, we are responsible to complete all the workmanship and the material and program in this project. Besides that, there are uh, three components that we need to apply in this project which are the quality, schedule and the budget. And the ETB construction is responsible for defining the quality and the goal to meet the project's requirements. And to complete this project successfully, the ETB construction will understand how the work should be scheduled and the time. And besides that, the construction budget must be developed by the project manager to avoid the overstanding for this project. The type of the organization structure is the functional organization. The functional organization is a structural thing that consists of the department such as the civil construction, quantity surveyor, and project control and so on. And typically, each the department will have a manager and the team member will work under the manager. And the reason they use these functional organizations is because it can offer the ETB constructions the benefit of the group in team member for their company by their skill and the rules between the organizations. And they will perform well by using their expertise and the energy for this project. Besides that, the functional organization is contribute to employee quality and reduce the confusion among the employees who are unclear who to report to. Now, I'm going to talk about the costing of projects. The project cost is the total cost required to complete the project, which combining the very cost and indirect cost. After totaling up the cost of preliminary work, construction of substructure, construction of superstructure, Instruct internal work, external work, and site clearing. The cost of this project is 61,970,750 ringgit. Hi, my name is Oi Ji Song, and I'm here to present to you the project timeline. This is the project timeline presented in Gan chart. And as we can see in this simplified chart, the project will start with the preliminary works on the 1st of June in 2022 and it is expected to end with site planning on the end of July in 2024. The final inspection will be made before the handover 
to the client. And if there is no unforeseen circumstances during the construction period, the project will be completed in a total duration of 785 days or 2 years and 2 months. And next, I will be talking about the method statement of construction work. The method statement for construction work is a mandatory requirement before the construction begins. In our method statement, we refer JKR standard specification for building work as our guideline. That includes the procedure for the preliminary work, the construction of the superstructure such as the beam, the flat, and the column, the construction of the substructure work such as the foundation, and the internal work, the external work. And beside that, we also include the method segment for the safety and environment. Uh, this is to ensure that uh, we can provide the best construction method while ensuring the health and safety of the construction worker. That's all for me. Thank you. Next, let me explain to you work breakdown structure WBS. WBS is a tool that breaks the work into a smaller task that will allow our project to be more manageable. Now, I will explain to you our project WBS. First is the site work. Site work includes the site clearing, setting up, soil test, fitting out and also installation of security system. After finish the site work, we will proceed with the substructure construction. Substructure construction includes the construction of power cap and also the stump. After finish the substructure construction, we will proceed with the superstructure construction. Superstructure construction include of construction of ground floor beam, ground floor slab, and ground floor column. Before that, we will install the formwork of the ground floor beam, ground floor slab, and ground floor column first. Then installation of the reinforcement bar, and then we will go for the concreting. After the concreting, we will wait for the curing process. After curing process, we will remove the formwork. So after finish these three, we will go for the first floor constructions. After first floor construction, we will go for the roof level constructions. So when we finish the substructure superstructure constructions, so we will go for the internal job. Internal job consists of lay brick wall, installation of door and windows, finishing of plumbing work, electricity work, then plastering installation of tile and ceiling as well as the installation of lighting and ventilation system. After finish the all internal job, we will proceed with the external job which includes the construction of drainage system, installation of sewage system, plastering of external wall and painting the external wall, then we will do for the site clearing, clear the rubbish that produced in this construction project. Then we will go to the last step which is the final checking or inspection. After finish final checking and inspection, we will hand over the project to the owner. Next, Organization Breakdown Structure OBS. OBS is used to determine which department or employee is responsible for their task. So first of all, I will introduce you our project manager, Tan Wei Ling. She will lead five teams which include the civil construction manager, project control and safety manager, project procurement manager, technical manager, and quantity surveyor. Sophie Bakshusha is our civil construction manager, so she is responsible for the planning and implementation of construction project. Next is our quantity surveyor, Ai Si Song. He and his team will formulate the bill of quantity based on the drawing that has been provided by our architect and engineer. Ahmad Nuhakim is our procurement manager. He will in charge the in purchasing the necessary material and deliver the material to the site on time and within budget. So next is our Chu Jenwon who is our technical manager. He is responsible for organizing, managing and developing our technical aspect of the construction project. Last but not least is our project control and safety manager Chong Xing Min. My task is to monitor project status and also I need to ensure the safety of this project. So if there is any 
problem that related to site safety, so I need to report to my project manager. That's all for me, thank you. My position in this company is civil construction manager. Okay, let's move on to project scheduling. We are using critical path method to analyze our scheduling for the project. Critical path method is a statistical algorithm which has a certain start and end of a project. It is a deterministic model. The main focus of CPM is on a trade-off between cost and time, with a major emphasis on cost casting. We have about 100 of activities for the project to be considered as finished. By using critical path method, we can identify project-related tasks and determining schedule flexibility. A critical route in project management is a longer series of operations that must be performed in order for the project to be finished on time. Any delays in important activities will cause the project to be delayed as a whole. As you can see here is the critical path method towards the end of our project. Based on critical path method, our project duration is 828 days. All tasks with zero slot value will be in the critical path method. Next, as you can see in the, in the slide, this is the S curve for this project. S curve is the cumulative cost of a project over time. And the purpose of this S curve is to control the project cost and make sure that we can finish the project on time and on budget. The last part is about project summary. Under project summary, I would like to describe about the why do you need to choose our company in your service based on a few criteria. First and foremost, our company will implement one a kind combination of sector specific skill like knowledge and experience like enable to succeed by giving client a competitive advantage. Second, our company is the one of the experience company in Malaysia so that our company have many exposure to the mega project and have expertise staff. Third, we will do fair and equitable on both sides as a procurer and bidder in order to win a contract. Next, our company ETB cluster very concerned about the time, which is on time. We will ensure that every project we attempt we will finish on base uh, schedule planning. The last one is about we will be professional, which is we will treat client like a professional with knowledge that easily client understand every part in tender. So what I can say is, if you choose my company, the best choice in your hand to become better in future. We are glad to invite you to co cooperate with us in future. Thank you.